Alright, hello and welcome YouTubers. This is Epiphonefish and uh, we're gonna play a game that not too many people play. Haven't seen a Let's Play, but I figure I'll give it a shot. Blue Marlin by Hot Bee. Hot Bee made quite a few fishing games and I love fishing. This was one of my favorite games as a kid, so we'll give it a shot. Miami. Here at the base for Marlin Fishing begins the challenging struggle. Now you are the challenger. A large Marlin jumping. Alright, just figured I'd give you a little bit of that introduction music. We're gonna start from scratch and we're gonna try this play this entire game through. So we will do the name Epfish. So we start off in Florida. So we're gonna try to go somewhere easier. Cape Canaveral is when you're a little bit more advanced. I think we're just gonna go with Palm Beach. So as you can see, you just got a general boat. Cruise around with a lure in the back. Now you can change your lures. Okay. So, you've got a bunch of different information screens. No. So, since we're just starting out, we're going to use a pretty thick line. We're going to set it real short so we can reel them in fast. Lures, they don't make too much of a difference. I mean, that's my favorite lure there, the eyeball lure. And, well, since we're just starting off, we'll float it. That's where the smaller fish tend to be. That little guy dancing around up there, he's, just, he's going to town. So pretty much the, the point of this game is to follow schools of fish around or other things you might see, seagulls, uh, sometimes there's whales that you see around. You follow those around and you try to get marlin to come up. Now, when you're just starting, you don't really want to do that. You just want to try to catch smaller fish to increase your stats. So you just get right up here in front of this bad boy. Alright. And that would be the game indicating that I'm about to break the, break the line here. So, on the right gives you information on how well the fish is hooked. As you can see, this one's hooked pretty poorly. If you hold the B button, ah, oh, he's sweating now. That means it's time to get his ass in here. Yeah, I gaffed that non-existent fish. Got him. <laughs> the, the catch is a Dorado, and it weighs about 100 pounds. Well, I can't say I've ever seen one that large, and I don't believe they exist. So this game isn't exactly accurate when it comes to the sizes and weights of fish, but hey, it's a fun game. Um, these fish are bas basically worthless, so there's no point in keeping them. But they do increase your stats. And like I was saying, with the B button you can increase the drag. And that will... If your vitality is decreased, that'll cause it to go out just a bit slower. <laughs> oh man, a shark is bitten off the line, that motherfucker. Well, that's part of this game. Lots of random encounters. 
Now, they give you this scene here where the sun's setting, like, okay, shit, the game's over. No, uh, that, that really isn't the case. <laughs> just, just not the case. Now, one other interesting aspect of this game is you can beat the hell out of your boat. And they warn you when you beat it up to a certain point. I mean, yeah, it, it looks pretty cool to bounce your uh, boat off of shit, but if you break down, you got no chance of fishing anymore during this trip. And right now, I'm just trying to build my stats, trying to get through this game fairly quickly. Looks like it's gonna be. It. Oh, fish is very exhausted. Look at his ass. He's sweating. Yeah, look at that. You're done. You know, even on the cartridge version of this, I I'm doing an emulation. But even on the cartridge version, they don't show the fish. Now look at that. I just caught the same fish, and it took me twice as long to reel it in. It the game's a little inconsistent. But I, I gotta say, it was one of my favorites as a child. Now, in future videos, you will see me abusing the hell out of save states. Right now, it isn't particularly necessary for this game. This game isn't too hard. It's just time consuming, but it is a lot of fun. drag down on this bad boy. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Done. What? They just told me the fish was exhausted. Those pieces of shit. Alright. Now, this game does have some pretty interesting random encounters you'll see later on. Again, the inaccuracy of this game is insane. A 400 pound barracuda. Uh, okay, well, I leveled up. I'm level C now. Yeah! Not that that's going to help anything. Well, I'll keep it just for shits and giggles. If I remember correctly, they're not, they're not worth jack shit, though. Nope, seagulls. I'll follow these bad boys around. Alright, now... If you notice that, that was some kind of marlin or billfish that came up. So we'll see what we pull up. It obviously can't be that big if it came right in. Notice the cool dude with the glasses, man. Yeah, hella 90s. 500 pound tuna, not bad. Now that is more realistic. Look at that little car. Yeah, awesome graphics. 1991. Represent. And I just pulled into port by accident. So let me do a little reverse action. Anybody that listens to uh, Adam Sandler knows exactly what I'm referring to. Oh, a couple more people dancing on the beach. Look at that. I'm getting down to this fucking crazy music. Well, YouTubers, it looks like it's about time for me to call this game quits here. We're going to save right here, and, uh, well, we're going to call it a night. So, you can expect to see uh, these pretty much every night from Sunday through Thursday. I've got obligations over the weekend. But, uh, hey, if you like it, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, I'm all for any input. If somebody wants to see something else, just let me know. I'm very interested in uh, doing some Let's Plays of... Whatever you want to say.